Hello, my name is Dr. Asley. I'm a board certified fellowship trained spine surgeon and I'm the medical director here in Spine Treatment Center. In this segment, I'll be talking to you about a condition called spinal stenosis. It's very commonly occurred in uh, age group 45 plus. As you can see right here, let me explain the normal anatomy a little bit better. This is very close to a normal anatomy. As you can see, the vertebrae stack up on top of each other and they form this neural canal, as you can see right here. When these vertebrae, they stack up on top of each other, they form a canal in the middle that the spinal nerves run through. And on each segment, through this foramen right here, the nerves exit and they go to the muscles or part of the skin that they innervate. Now, spinal stenosis is actually tightening of this canal so the nerves that are going through they get pinched there's not enough room for them what happens is that as you can see right here this is an example of a nice healthy disc is a nice and thick and plump and plush as the disc deteriorates it settles as it settles you can see this is an example of the disc settling as it settles the facet joints right here become arthritic and they hypertrophy, they get bigger. Meanwhile, as the disc settles, these ligaments that are in the back, right here, there should be some ligaments, they call them yellow ligament, that, you know, very tight, they, they don't let the kind of vertebral body fall forward. As that deteriorates and it settles, the disc herniates into the canal, the facet joints gets bigger, and these ligaments, they start infolding like a curtain coming down. The combination of all these three determines the diameter of the central canal. Therefore, that gets smaller and smaller, less room for the nerves, and the nerves start getting pinched. And that's the um, spinal stenosis. Initially, what happens is that when you lean forward, that actually makes you feel better. Why? Because when you lean forward, this space opens up, tightening that ligament, bringing that ligament back, and bringing more room for the nerves. However, as the spinal stenosis gets worse and worse, that even doesn't help. The treatment for that, of course, is to go in and unroof the canal and let the nerves breathe. And that's how we treat these conditions. As I said, there's a gradations of this condition. In the, initially, when the room is kind of tight, the nerves are irritated, you can have epidural injections and calm the nerves down and buy some time, about a few years. But as the disc deteriorates further, the, the ligaments infolds more, the room gets less and less for the nerves, it eventually comes to a point that you have to intervene and mechanically uh, relieve the nerves of the pressure with surgery. Um, and that is the condition. I hope you understood this part of the segment, and in the next segment, I'll be talking about disc replacement.